how to raise a child, rewards and punishment. The most common, the most popular question that all parents are asking how to raise a child, how to reward a child's good behavior, how to punish a child when he is misbehaving, and how to raise a successful person, a successful child. Hi guys, my name is Lana Semenek and this is Psychology of Happiness, my YouTube channel where happiness is the purpose of life. Welcome! If you're new to my channel, subscribe. So let's talk about rewards and punishments and I will start with punishments. Let's start with some negative aspect and then we will finish the video with the reward system. Before we're gonna start talking about punishment, I would like to recommend one of my favorite books. Uh, this book is called Boundaries with Kids and I will leave the link below. Uh, I ordered it on Amazon. Uh, there are three uh, books or four books uh, with a similar name, one called uh, Boundaries, uh, when to say yes and when to say no. Uh, to be honest, I was not uh, impressed by this book, although it's the same author, but this book, The Yellow Boundaries with Kids, amazing. I highly recommend uh, to read it uh, to every parent. And if you don't have kids, it's gonna be amazing book for you too because you can understand your own behavior you can understand uh, your um, own patterns your reactions and you will understand why your parents behave uh, this way or another okay let's start with punishment and there are two type of punishments uh, emotional punishments and the punishment of physical restrictions Let's talk about the difference and how they affect children's future. The first type of punishment is the punishment that you should avoid and this is emotional punishment. Uh, this is what a lot of parents think that they should do and they do it because of love, because they believe that it's gonna really teach a child the lesson, but in reality it won't. Emotional punishment is when... Um, parent um, is saying something like uh, shame on you how could you do this and you should avoid the emotional punishment as much as possible although a lot of parents believe that this is the best punishment because they uh, use emotions and they talk to a child and they can uh, use uh, the guilt uh, to show the child uh, how terrible his behavior is but in reality it's one of the worst things that you can do for your child so emotional punishment uh, sounds like this uh, like shame on you how could you do this uh, you disappointed me. I'm disappointed in you. You should feel guilty because you did this. Uh, uh, girls are not supposed to do those things. Don't embarrass me. At the end, the child feels like he's not good enough. The child feels like he did something wrong. He's the cause of uh, mommy's bad mood, mood uh, daddy's bad mood, and the child uh, will get an understanding about himself that he is a bad person and uh, at the end the child is not going to be successful the child will have low self-esteem low self-confidence and it will be very hard for him to overcome his fears and achieve his goals in the future so by distancing creating a distance emotional distance between you and your child you are not teaching him a lesson. You are telling him that he is not good enough as a person. So if you truly love your child, if you want to raise a successful child, then I highly recommend to use a second type of punishment, which is physical restrictions. And this punishment is going to sound like this. Um, because you were rude to your grandparents, you are not going to watch TV. Or because you uh, got a bad grades at school, you are not allowed to use any devices. Or because you did not uh, finish your home um, chores, you are not going to get an ice cream. In this case, child will learn that I did something wrong and I cannot enjoy things that I like. So he will know that he is in control of what he has in life. And if he did bad things, if he was lazy, if he 
was rude, if he did not uh, do what he was supposed to do, then he will face some consequences. In this case, a child is learning that I did something wrong and because of that, I cannot enjoy things that I like. So he will learn that uh, my happiness depends on me. So if I change my behavior, if I will stop being messy, if I will stop being lazy, if I will help my parents, if I will be polite with my grandparents, if I will get a good grades at school, then I can have a lot of fun in life. So for the future of this child, uh, it's going to bring like huge positive impact because he will think that I am in control of my life. My skills, my behavior, um, my actions will bring the result that I want. So in this case, you're not distancing uh, yourself from the child. You're not creating emotional drama. You're not using guilt, shame and other negative emotions. In this case, you are using um, positive influence towards your child. And this way you're going to raise a successful, happy person who will have a good self-esteem, a high self-confidence and who will achieve almost any goal that he will have in his life. Let's talk about rewards. How can you multiply the positive impact on your child's life? How you can reward your child for the great behavior, for the great grades at school? And there are also two types uh, of rewards, emotional and physical. And emotional rewards is something that will make your child to feel great about himself. When you can say, I'm proud of your son, I am proud of what you did, you did an excellent job, uh, wow, what you did is so important, I am so happy that you, I'm so happy for you, I always knew that you can uh, do this. So any other words that come to your mind that you like to use, just tell your child how proud um, you are and how great he is physical rewards, such as gifts, are uh, also very important, but they should not be a priority. The priority is emotional words that you are telling your child. Uh, if your child did something good, and of course you can buy him a gift, of course you can take him to a play day with his friends, of course you can take him to an arcade, to the movie theater, you can... Uh, uh, play with him at home. Uh, this is kind of like emotional and physical together when you're playing with the child, when you buy a child a new game and you're spending time with him and playing together. But again, uh, physical rewards are great, but they should be after the emotional. They just as a part of the rewards, not the main rewards itself. This is about the rewards and punishments. So to summarize, uh, the most important that you should remember that when you punish your child, don't use your emotions, don't distance yourself from a child. Use uh, physical restrictions like TV, games, ice cream, uh, parties. And when you want to reward the child, use emotions. Tell him uh, that he did a great job, that he that you're proud of him, that he is an excellent in what he did. And if you would like to know more about kids psychology, I have a separate playlist. I will leave the links below. If you find this channel helpful, please click like, subscribe, comment below and share it with your friends. Help me to promote this channel so I can create more videos for you. And also the link to this book, uh, amazing and great books for anyone, parents. And if you're planning to be a parent and if you just want to learn a little bit more about your behavior, to know why you are struggling, for example, with self-acceptance, with the self-esteem, self-confidence, this book will help you to find answers. I will leave the links below. Uh, thank you again. Uh, I will be waiting for your comments, waiting for your likes. And thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Thank <laughs> you.